I know when I talk about Tumala, people think, people ask me, oh, you talk about your husband every day. I don't believe in celebrating people when they are dead. I believe in celebrating people when they are alive. If I love my husband, I want the world to know I love my husband. I don't have any reason to hide. I don't have any reason to pretend. I'm not desperate to be a first lady because I'm already a first lady to my husband. Yes. I believe my destiny is in the hands of God yes. and when God wants me to be a first lady in Sierra Leone, there will be no obstacles on the way. Yes. Because I stand only one God and my God says to me, you pray to me Allah and the next person you worship is your husband. Yeah. I don't see God, but I see my husband. And I worship my husband because I love him. Yeah. I, I am very happy. I am so, so, so privileged that I call you all my family. I know every one of you here by name. When I... Um, when it was difficult for me at the beginning, when me and my first got married, I know the first woman that accepted me as Mother Bill's wife and didn't ask any questions was Auntie Musudu Guer. I've never told her how much she's special to me, but she is. She accepted me. She asked no question. Gradually, maybe because of our because because of me too, I was so scared. I didn't know who to go to or how to reach out to people. But then I went to Mama Beatrice and this woman just accepted me as her own child. <laughs> you know, um, since I've met Mama Beatrice, she, she is very proud of me. I know I'm, I'm a very, very stubborn person. Sometimes I believe Mama Beatrice looked at me and see herself in me when she was <laughs> really. You know, I love you. I love you so dearly. And you look so much like my grandmother. You know, so, um, I really appreciate that. Um, I cannot say how special Lonely Jet is to me when he gave me a husband. <laughs> if he didn't force me to Google, I would not have had interest to go and watch Manabio and see who this Manabio is, actually. But my brother, you defend me when no one does it. You're always there. I'm grateful. And um, I will fight your corner for you because you always fight my corner for me. Auntie Aggie, you do the same for me. I, I follow everything that is going on in the Lissab. I know if there are people in that Lissab that will come out any day, any time to defend myself and my husband. You are one of those people. I read all your posts. And uh, sometimes I don't know where you get your energy from. But honestly, I really, do, I really, really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you all, Mimi. <laughs> I don't know what to say about you. Um, we have a journey, we're going, we're heading towards that journey. You're my sister, I believe we'll get to our journey together. Of course, uh, Mrs. Keller, the same with you. You people have embraced me. I don't feel like I'm a newcomer anymore. I feel I'm part of this whole thing. Loveta, you will call me, you talk to me. Um, Mother is a very strong person. You can write the whole world, write whatever you want to write about Mother Bill. It won't, it won't work at all. Because I can tell you, even if I want to start the conversation, you will not allow it. You just throw it like this. But Fatima, I'm a different kind of human being. I fight. I have never, um, people are lucky. They get things like this. All my life, I fight for what I have. So, because I'm Mother Bill's wife now, I don't see the need for me to stop fighting. 
because I still haven't achieved what I want. There's so much I want to do in my life, and when I have people pushing me and trying to, to, to smear me, you don't know me. When you don't know me, don't talk trash about me. You know? When I come up fighting, I am not fighting because I'm a rude person. I'm fighting because I want you people to help me. I want you people to stop this. I'm your sister. I'm your friend. If you don't protect me now, I'm telling you they're going to continue to do this to me over and over and over. So when I come out and say something, I'm not doing this to disrespect any one of you guys. I'm doing this to tell you I'm dying here if you don't come. Yeah. That's the only reason why I do what I do. Yeah. I don't want to disrespect my husband. He's a honorable man. Yeah. Why would I want to go out there and be arguing with people when I know who my husband is? But sometimes you have to do something to get the attention of the people that love you. Yes. And that's why I do the things I do. You know, um, before I sit down, I have to talk about a special woman. She is my shipping my sister. We look alike. We behave the same way. Me and her alone in the house. I can tell you that house will have smoke every day. Because, mm -mm. yes. But the good thing about it is, we work together. We have the same vision. We articulate the same thing, we want the same thing, and we try for the same thing, and we go there and we achieve it. For me, at this moment, she is my inspiration, because whatever I want to do, if I say, Yata, I want to do this, I need to just say the word, she will make sure I get to my destination. And that is what you want in a friend. You don't mess me about when I'm wrong, you push me and tell me, look, shut up, look, I don't like this, and we make up. People don't know me and that's how we fight. When I can tell them, we fight nearly every day. But then, we understand each other, we come back, we hang up our phones, and we'll call each other again. Yeah. I'm learning, she's learning. Now bluff it and bluff, you know, something nothing politics. <laughs> We're both learning. We are not lying, we are just trying our best. But one thing I know, anything to do with one of you, Yata is ready. And Yata will lead that route. And she doesn't care who is waiting for us at the front. She doesn't care what kind of weapon is at the front. When she gets there, she knows we will pass. I don't know which means you will use, but we will get to our destination. So my sister, with you, I believe there are so many dynamic women in Sierra Leone, but we need women like you to change Sierra Leone. We need women that can deliver, not people that can just talk the talk and do nothing. I really appreciate you as part of our family. I really appreciate to say you are my Shibima sister, and your major is our Shibima brother. <laughs> mm -hmm. I appreciate you all here. We're here for a very good cause. My husband will talk about that because the reason why I'm making you laugh because he does a serious talking. <laughs> and he's going to come now and upstage me and get all the round of applause <laughs> and the ovation. You know, I'm still not jealous because when they clap in for him and behind him, the clap meets me too. <laughs> so they clap in for him. My husband, I love you.